Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to create these nice little shapes here that you see in the blue and green. Right here I've used them in a drawing that I did as the cover of my coloring book. Decided to add little highlights and add some shading. Hi, Editing Betsy here. So I just wanted to add a note that someone did mention to me that this pattern that I'm going to show you in just a sec, it is a pattern that was done by Melinda Barlow, Certified Zentangle Teacher, and I think it's called 123. I'm having a hard time finding uh, the references to it, but just wanted to let you know I don't like to steal stuff from anyone. But it may just have been that I saw this somewhere or I derived it from somewhere else. But yeah, if you do use Untangled, that's how you can find it. So for this drawing, I'm going to get started right here in the bottom corner just because I want to show you how they look when they fan out. And now where I'm going to get started here is I'm going to create a very simple shape and it is just this tiny teardrop shape. So here it is, and I have colored it with the black ink, so it's nice and dark. Now you can choose to make this a little longer, slightly shorter. You're free to experiment with that to see how different the shapes look. And so now all I'm going to do is down at the bottom point, I'm going to draw a loop here. So starting right here, I'm making a loop, coming around and touching the peak again. So I've made a small loop. Now I'm going to make two more of those same loops on top of it. So I'm going to do it like this. Start here. Here's the second loop. Here's the third. So now I have three of them here. Now I'm going to start creating a little colony of these. So my next one is going to be very close right here. So I'm going to make that teardrop shape. Now you can make them touch or not touch. Right now they're not quite touching, it doesn't really matter. And right on there I'm going to make that loop. So here's one. So now they're touching. And I'm going to make two more. Here's the second one. Here's the third one. I'm going to go to the other side and start another one. Here's one loop, two, and three loops. Let me go ahead and add one on the other side here. So I'm going to make sort of a, a long kind of loop here. Let's see what happens. So there's that little teardrop shape. It is black. I'm going to create my loops. So here's one, here's two, and here's three. All right, so this is just the beginning. I'm imagining I would have a flat line here to work on. Or maybe if I'm working on the very edge of the paper, I would be doing something like this. And I'm going to start adding these teardrops in the little gaps. So let me show you where those gaps are. So down here, it's like a little valley. So I'm going to do a teardrop there. And let me just show you where I'm putting the rest of them. Here's the other one in here. And I'm going to put another one in here. Just so you can clearly see where they're at. I'm going to use each of those to create another shape here. So let me pick this one on the left. So on this one I'm going to make the first loop, second loop, third loop. Let me use the other two. So over here, here's one, here's two, here's three. Let's use that other one. One, two, and three. Okay. So now I have these relatively awkward spaces that I'm going to work in, but I'm not going to worry too much about where I angle things. As you play around, you're going to see where you like to fit them in the best. So for me, I'm going to choose this spot right here to make my next, my next shape. So I will make that dark teardrop shape. So there it is. I'm going to make my three loops. So here's one, two, looks like that third one will touch the one next to it. So there it is. That's fine. 
You'll notice I have this strange triangular gap in there. I don't need to do anything with it. You can choose to put a little circle in there or anything you want. I usually just fill it with black. Sometimes I'll put a small circle there, that's fine. I'm going to move over here, right in here. I'm going to make a next one. This is a little teardrop shape and with three loops. One, two, three. Okay, so over here on the other side, I can choose to either put, put one here or I can choose to put one here, whichever. Either way will probably look just fine. Let's see what it looks like when I put it on this left side. Let's start with that little shape. It's a teardrop. And then the loops. One, two. I'm going to allow that third one. Oh, I didn't quite touch. I was hoping it would touch, but I didn't get close. That's okay. I'm going to try putting just a circle in there, let's see what happens. And then I'm going to fill the rest in with black. I'm not going to use the rest of that space. So now that it's black, hey, that looks interesting, I'm okay with that circle there. So now I'm going to go ahead and just add some more so that you can see what it looks like. So here we have it, we have a small cluster of them going here. And let me show you again what it looks like when it is colored. So here we have it. I really hope you give this a try. Try filling out an entire page or just a small card like this so it's not too daunting, it shouldn't take you too long. Get a little bit of practice before you create a larger drawing.